Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on this berry fall inspired look. If you want to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. So today we're going to be starting off with the eyes and I'm going to be taping them because I want to help give myself a guide and make it really easy to clean up. And then I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC paint pot in soft ochre. I just spread that all across my eye and then kind of buff it in with my finger. For today's look, I'm going to be starting off with the BOMBS Nude Tude eyeshadow palette. I don't use this one too, too often. So the first shade I'm taking is the shade Sultry, which is a nice warm toned light brown. And I'm just gonna be plopping that into the crease, blending it out and kind of flicking it out at the very end um, where your wing will be. Next, I am going in with the shade Sexy, which is a deep plum berry shade, and I'm going in with a precise pencil brush. This is gonna help me give a lot of control because what I'm doing is essentially drawing a guide for where my lid shade is going to stop. And this is also going to give our crease a lot of dimension. So if you can't find your crease or you don't know where to put your crease, the best advice I can give is to tilt your head all the way back, and that will really give a clear indication of where it should go. Um, once you kind of figure that out, take little product at a time and just work it into the crease and you will slowly see the lines start to thicken and form. Once you have that line down, you can go ahead and buff it out. I just use the same brush that I was using to put into the crease, so no additional product. Next, I am going to be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Glistening Garnet. And this is going to be really the center of the show for this eye look. I love this shade. I think it's so pretty on the eyes and perfect for fall. So I just take a flat shader brush and really pack that onto the lid. I didn't have any issues with this shadow and fallout, which was amazing. But using a flat shader br brush will definitely help you with that. Taking another L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow, this one is called Burning Black. It is a really deep purple. I'm just going to start smudging that onto my lash line and outer V. And once I have the product where I want it, I'll just take a blending brush and really smoke it out so it's nice and blended and there's no harsh lines. Once that's done, I go in with some liner and lashes. Today I use the Vegas Nay Lashes in Grand Glamour and I'm obsessed with them. So moving on to the face, I go in with a primer. I'm using my favorite Makeup Forever primer. This is the Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer and then topping it off with the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. And I really like this foundation. I do have oily skin, but I feel like when it's matched up with a mattifying primer, it still lasts a really long time. My oils don't break through and it doesn't settle into any of my fine lines. For concealer today, I really wanted a full coverage, so I opted for my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This concealer is full coverage. I just squeeze a tiny, tiny bit on the back of my hand and then apply it with my Sigma concealer brush, and then I'll blend it out with my foundation brush, and it blends out beautifully. It really does do a great job covering up any dark circles, and if you have a blemish, this will be your best friend. It will be gone. To set my concealer, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and this is the shade banana I love this shade it really does brighten up any concealer so if you ever do put your concealer on and you feel like it's just not doing it its job definitely go in with a banana shade powder and it will help so much then to contour I'm going into the palette as well and I'm taking the shade Havana and I'm just sculpting out my cheekbones and dragging it up to my temples and blending it under the jawline For blush today, I'm going in with my all-time favorite fall blush. You need this in your life. It's the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amour. It is stunning. It is that perfect berry toned. It, it just blends out so nicely and it's not too bright or too pigmented. It's just perfect. And then for highlight, I'm super excited. This is my first time using it. The Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. This has been raved about 
constantly on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere, and I finally got my hands on it um, recently when I went to Ulta, and I love it. It's stunning. I can't say enough good things. It's just a classic, beautiful gold highlight. Then to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to be taking a little bit more of that sexy, um, deep berry plum shade and just dragging that across the waterline. To finish off the look today, I'm going to be taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Craft. I really like this shade. It was super easy to apply, which is amazing. No lip liner needed, and it stayed on all night, which is amazing. After you apply your lipstick, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this fall makeup tutorial. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.